Hello learners! We are going to learn the three states of matter. The solids, liquids, and gases. We can group matter as solid, liquid, or gas based on the state of matter. The pencils are in the solid state. The water we drink is in the liquid state. The air in the hot air balloon is in the gaseous state. Water exists in the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. Ice is water in the solid state. Water is in the liquid state. Steam is water in the gaseous state. Here are some other examples of solids, liquids, and gases. For solids, we have eraser, t-shirt, cup, and saucer. For liquids, we have olive oil, honey, perfume. For gases, we have cooking gas, oxygen, and volcanic gas. Solids, liquids, and gases have different characteristics. The characteristics of matter are described based on how the matter looks like how it feels to touch, and how it acts. A solid has a fixed shape. If a solid is placed in two containers of different shapes, the solid does not take the shapes of the containers. Coins are solid matter. Their shapes remain unchanged in different containers. A solid has a fixed volume too. When the solid is squeezed or pressed, it does not change its size. Solids cannot be compressed. The coin does not change its shape when it is pressed. A solid cannot flow. The ice cubes do not flow. Solids can only change their shapes when a force is applied on them. The hand exerts a force on the knife. The knife exerts a force on the onion, cutting it. The hands exert a force on the paper to fold it. Hence, all solids have these three characteristics. First, solids have fixed shapes. Second, solids have fixed volumes and cannot be compressed. And third, solids cannot flow. Let's have now the liquids. Liquids have no fixed shape. They take up the shapes of the containers. However, they have fixed volumes just like solids, and they cannot be compressed. Liquids can flow. They can flow from a higher place to a lower place. Hence, all liquids have these three characteristics. First, liquids have no fixed shape. Second, liquids have fixed volumes and cannot be compressed. And third, liquids can flow. Now, let's have the gases. Gases have no fixed shape. They take up the shapes of the containers. 
as air takes up the shape of its container, we can have balloons in many shapes and sizes. Gases have no fixed volume. They spread out easily to fill the containers. When we pump a tire, the air from the pump flows into the tire through the pipe. This shows that air can flow easily. However, if we put our finger at the nozzle of the pump while trying to push the plunger down, we will manage to push the plunger slightly. This proves that gases can be compressed. Today, we have learned that solid, liquid, and gas are the three states of matter. Solids have fixed shapes and fixed volumes. Solids cannot flow. Liquids have fixed volumes but no fixed shape. Liquids can flow. Gases have no fixed shape and no fixed volume. Gases can flow. It's game time! Now, let's have some game! Are you ready? Which of the following is in the solid state? Honey, apple, or hot air balloon? The correct answer is apple. Great job! Which of the following is in the liquid state? Honey, apple, or hot air balloon? The correct answer is honey. Good job! Which of the following is in the gaseous state? Honey, Apple or hot air balloon? The correct answer is hot air balloon. Great job! Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. See you on my next videos. Have fun!